Hey guys, welcome back to another Fight Night Champion video. Um, in the last video, uh, we just uh, we had some matches, and the game is a bit too easy. So after this training, we are gonna turn. Oh, we are gonna go and turn the um, the difficulty up a little bit. Oh, wrong one. My bad. I did that perfectly. That's complete bullshit. Bullshit again. The time has come. All the talk is done. Now the fight is set to begin. There's Andre Bishop in the locker room, Teddy, with his longtime trainer, Gus Carisi. Of course, Gus was one who very early on tapped Andre Bishop as a fighter to watch. He said he was full of potential. Yes, he was a tremendous amateur. He won the World Championship Tournament. From the State Palace Theater here in New Orleans, we welcome you to our middleweight main event, a much-anticipated bout between Andre Bishop and Mike Walker. It is now time Remember, for our main Mike event from the all State time. Palace <laughs> Theater here in fight. New Orleans. Middleweight's Andre Bishop and Mike Damn, Walker. That, that guy is a big boy. Um, just see if uh, I can turn up the... No, it doesn't seem like I can. Okay, let's just go and uh For the official introductions, we send it up to the ring. Let's just go and beat this the guy. Day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Doubles up the jab to the head. Bishop's ability to punch, to flat out put forth power, puts people in the seats. Early on, that's what they expect to see here. And early on, sometimes too much of a good thing, guess what? It can be dangerous. It can backfire. If he lands a punch and it doesn't get rid of the guy, well, what else can he do? What happens then? Getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by Walker. Landing two jabs by Andre Bishop. says right back with the left hand right to the head with that right that uppercut absolutely rocked up but well, i don't like the way his left and yet another big shot comes in perfectly executed combination mike walker's down he's gonna have to beat the count Continue on beating the count. What a great job he gave one solid. And it's over. He goes down. A barrage of punches just put him down. Get the young brothers out. It is raining punches here. Just stay down, man. You are not going to win. had been our father's trainer. He All took right. us in after our parents died. Good. Keep that jab going. Ladies 
at 2-0, the young upstart Andre Bishop is getting a lot of attention, and he has ours tonight. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We welcome you to this night of boxing here at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans. Bishop looks to start his pro career 3-0 as he takes on Wilfred Rosario. And he's a boy across the ring. Okay, um, right, I'm quickly gonna uh, go and change the stuff. I'm also gonna make the game a little bit quiet, so I'll be back in just a second. Mike Walker and right, Bishop here we are. We're unable to do. Andre Bishop now 2 0 in his career. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside here at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans to see if the young upstart can make it three in a row. Good block by Andre Bishop that time. He'd like to see more of that. Wow! He goes down. Okay, then. That was, um... Time remaining in this round. I guess, uh, I guess this game is just easy. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Nice strike after catching one by Rosario. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. A leveling uppercut by Andre Bishop. Two snapping jabs by Rosario. Snap by a right hand. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? One, two, three, four, five. I kept winning fights. I got people's attention. My father told me to find out what it'll take to make you change your mind about working with us. It's easy. Yeah? Yeah. All you gotta do is change Gus's mind. Not <laughs> that off. <laughs> you don't have a say in this? Sure I do. I say Gus is my manager. Then I guess I'm gonna have to change Gus's mind. Good luck with that. Thanks. Oh, by the way, I was by Keyshawn Hayes' camp the other day. His trainer thinks you're a sucker for the left hook. Keyshawn says he's dropping you with it. Yeah? Well, Keyshawn Hayes is entitled to his own opinion, isn't he? Welcome you to Atlantic City's Boardwalk Hall for the East Coast debut of the young upstart Andre Bishop. Tonight, the 3-0 middleweight will be taking on the hard-hitting Keyshawn Hayes. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Glad you're with us. All right, fellas, let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. This guy's got a mean left hook. He's going to try and catch you with it early. Yeah, I heard about that. You got get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about. It's always so okay. interesting. Okay, well, he's going to watch out for his left hook. Here in round number one. 
Well, let's talk about what kind of a fight this could end up being because as far as we see it, both guys are really committed to the cause here. They want each other. Hey, look, the old times would say these guys are harder to miss than they are to hit. We expect a high work rate among these two fighters. Now, hard charging with that right hand. Boy, he is shaky right there. He is on shaky ground in the ring right now. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his big shots. And he's there. down. Perfectly executed combination. Hayes is down. He's going to have to beat the count. Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on, kill a little time. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Good blush shot upstairs. That's nice work. Oh, oh shit, I'm down. What a uh, okay. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think he's just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he okay, walked count in, of he two. get it. That's he fine. Got it. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. And Bishop is rocked by a left hook by Hayes. You need to keep that head moving. He scores with the jab there. How about that bombs away to the head by Hayes? Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Come on, man. Just stay down. Just stay down. Okay. Round two. Round one. Just don't get crazy in there. No need for that. Fox smart. All right, how you doing? How you doing? Good, good. Nice and calm. Nice and calm. How you feeling? All right. Now, he's counterpunching, and you need to be aware of that, okay? Watch for that counter. Andre Bishop's got a good relationship with his corner, but now it needs to pay off. He was down in that last round. They need to get to work. Good combination to the head. Hayes is hit by a right hand. Oh! And he's down. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? Forno never looks so good. A knockout win, Andre Bishop over Keyshawn Hayes. Bishop. Okay, that fight was a little bit more difficult. Don't think we've. In our Friday Night Fight Studios, we have an update on the career of rising star Andre Bishop. And while he certainly hasn't taken an easy road so far in his career, Bishop is poised to have his coming out party against top 15 middleweight contender Ricardo Alvarez, something virtually unheard of for a prospect with so few pro fights. What's more, the fight will take place in Alvarez's hometown of Chicago, although we can't expect a few fans to make the trip from Philly. What can I do for you, Mr. McQueen? Andre, I have to tell you something about your father. Before he died, he and I agreed to a deal. I was going to get him a title shot and let Gus stay on as manager. Sadly, he never got a chance to tell Gus about it. I'll give you the same deal. Keep Gus as your trainer and manager. I'll promote your fights.
Megan's young. She's got other fighters. And think about your brother. What about my brother? Raymond's got talent. Not your kind of talent. <laughs> He's big. You see how big he is? He could be heavyweight champ someday. Isaac Frost looks unbeatable now. Ah, who knows? Be smart, Andre. Let me take you and Raymond to the top. Look, Mr. McQueen, I don't appreciate you talking about my father or trying to get me to go behind Gus's back. Stay away from my brother. Stay away from me. Are we clear? You have no idea who you're fucking with, kid. Oh, good luck with Alvarez. I got a feeling it's not gonna be your night. I don't know that, but we have to go to the fight. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois, for a much-anticipated main event. Ricardo Alvarez is an established contender. Andre Bishop is a hot rising prospect. Will Bishop shine in the spotlight? Well, everything he's done throughout his career from the amateurs to this go. moment now Smart. have prepared him for this moment. Here we go! Takes one but gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop's combination Ooh, punching working out. Nice well combinations there. over there. Three solid shots. One, two, one, two. Oh, uh, you see him with the left of the head there? Well, it's very easy to see here. You have one fighter who has a distinct advantage in terms of the reach. What do you have to do when you're fighting a guy who you know can bring that long arm out and get there before you can? So there's two ways to deal with a taller fighter. One is the traditional way. Just tuck up, get a good defense, and make sure you start working your way in. Slip the punch, take that height advantage away. Bring your legs. The other is to step out, believe it or not. Elicit the taller guy to give up his height. Make him come to you. Able to dismiss it. There's no need to be the other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land oh, come combinations. On. He landed those, a good one there. Those three uppercuts, they, um... They landed. He's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Good doubling up of the jab by Andre Bishop. That's what I like to see. Bishop's landed a good solid combination. Work the body. Up top with the right hand. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old timers used to say when you come in there, when you're in control there, you can make Okay, around two. That does it for this round. Okay. The judges, they need to be watching this fight. I can see it in their eyes. McQueen fucked us. We're not winning any decisions tonight. That means you gotta knock this guy on the canvas. Understand? Knock him on his ass. Here we go. That's Round two is battle. underway. Nice. Nice. Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. 
Andre. He said he was going to do it from the outside, and now he has. He just got to his man. His opponent had no idea that he was still in range. He thought he, he is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Able to get rid of that one. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. Best combination in the game, jab with the straight. Bishop's hand speed is the difference here. I mean, that's what that combination was all about. Yeah, purely speed. He just got off faster, sooner. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. How about that hook by Andre Come on, just Bishop. go down, man. Just go down. That's all he needs to do. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Boom. Left hand comes home. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business oh, is fuck. Lit with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get Round caught. three. You better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Andre Bishop returns to the corner after just nailing his opponent a solid shot. Yeah, well, now Gus will tell him, stay after him, but he will also tell him, do it the right way with good defense. Nice work, Andre. Nice round. Okay, let's keep the pressure up. Keep it up, and the knockout will come. Andre Bishop's ready to go. He looks like he's in good shape for this round. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Good combination punching out of him here. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like... On the receiving end of a big and accurate hook that wasted no time. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of... What a shot. Big hook comes in. He was stunned, now he's in control. Momentum so critical. And that's the thing about this boxing game. One second you're in control, the next second you're not. Oh, he is stunned, he could go down. Good, solid right hand lands. Teddy, I think he's gonna go down. I think he's going to get down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying to get to the other side of the street, but... Wow, nice flush left hand. What an excellent two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. He falls victim to that big hook. That's as good as it gets right there. A good, solid right hand lands. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. Wow, impactful short hook got to him that time. That's not going to be easy to survive. No, come on, 15 seconds. Good looking two punch combination there. How about that left right there? Fuck. And that's the end round of round four. three. Halfway. Please see you long. That's it. That was perfect. Let's keep throwing the jab. And set up the right, okay? One, two, one, two. Jab. Don't stand toe to toe with this guy. Keep your distance, all right? You need to capitalize on his misses, okay? I want to see that counter hook. Make him pay for his misses.
We start a new round here. It's hard to believe that we're even in this round based on how that last round finished. Well, if you ever watch some of those Houdini movies, you know, the great escape artist, kind of hard to believe he got out of some of those fixes. He yes, let's go. That box with... What a big shot. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they We've got done that, that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. Andre Bishop quickly turning into the kind of fighter that puts fannies in the seats. Fans want to see this guy. A knockout victory over Ricardo Alvarez tonight. 11 and 0. We were ready to make a move. My future looked bright. Nice place. The gym's closed, fellas. We didn't come here to work out. What's going on? We came to have a little talk. I thought they were McQueen's thugs, but they were cops. Dirty cops from McQueen's payroll. Fucking move, kid. Wrong fucking move. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Kenny, and welcome to Friday Night Fights here on ESPN. Before we get into tonight's action, some shocking news this week involving middleweight prospect and amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop. Reports are coming in that Bishop has been arrested for allegedly carrying an unlicensed firearm and assaulting two police officers. Details remain spotty, but the word is there was an altercation in the late hours of the evening between Bishop and the police at Parisi's Boxing Club, the gym where Bishop trained. The word of two decorated police officers was all it took. My dreams, my freedom, everything was taken from me. Nobody could help me. I had to help myself. I couldn't let this place beat me. I did what I had to do. I fought. Crackers been talking so much about kicking your ass. They think they can take you one on one. I had to agree to some conditions, though. Bare knuckles. No refs, no rounds. You fight until somebody quits. Or can't get up. I like those conditions. Shit ain't gonna help you here. You got to knock this motherfucker out. Stay your ass down, big man. The bro just hit bought me. Sit down. Oh, you're still getting up. Okay. I 
and sit down. retired from boxing. Isaac Frost became heavyweight champion. Baby brother was fulfilling his dream. And here, it's the same old business. Time to skin another head. Right then guys, I am going to leave it here. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Also make sure you are subscribed and you've turned on the post notifications. Go and check out the two videos on the screen. The left one is a previous uh, Fight Night Champion uh, video. The other one will just be another video, which you may want to go and watch. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.